guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be showing you how to recreate this look that is totally inspired by fall 2011 trends. So if you'd like to learn how to recreate it, then please continue watching. So we're gonna start off by priming our lids with our Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is in the color Eden. Then I'm taking NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Pure Gold. And placing that right there on the lid. I'm then taking NYX's Jumbo Lip Pencil in the color Sable Bronze. Um, I'm not recommending that you use a lip one. This is just the color I have and it happens to be in the lip form so it works. It'll still work. Then I'm going to take the color reveal from the Sigma Dare palette and I'm going to place this right in the middle of the lid. With the other side of my brush I'm taking the color bronze from MAC. I'm placing that in the outer corner and blending it up into the crease a little bit. I'm now taking the color buck with my Sigma E25 brush. And I'm placing that in the crease and I'm going to blend it out. I'm now taking Max Brulee on my Borghese eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to place this under my brow bone as a highlight. On my MAC 223 brush, I'm taking the color Samoa Silk from MAC. And I'm going to place that above the buck. This is really going to warm it up and add a really nice fall touch. And I'm now taking Buck again, and I'm just going to make sure we didn't lose any of the intensity of that color. Now I'm taking my Milani Liquify in the color brown, and I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put it under my lash line about halfway through. I'm going to take the color bronze again on my MAC 209 brush, and I'm going to smoke this out on my bottom lash line. But I'm only going to bring it about a little over halfway through. With my Sigma E20 brush, I'm taking this color reveal again, and I'm just going to place this right in here. Now for just a little highlight and shimmer, I'm taking Max Naked Lunch on my Sonia Kashuk brush, and I'm just going to place this in my inner corner. Now it's time for the winged liner, and I'm using Max Black Track Fluid Line on my Sonia Kashuk Angled Liner brush. I drew my eyeliner a little thicker than I had originally wanted, but it looks just about right. Now I'm going to add my false lashes and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back and um, all I did was apply my false lashes and I put on my foundation. And I did it in a really cool way, so if you'd like to check out that video, I will link it below when it's posted. I don't know which one's going to be posted first. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. It's uh, for all of those of you who want to become makeup artists. So um, yeah, don't, don't forget to check that one out. And um, so now I'm taking... Illamasca blush or Illamasca or whatever and cream blusher in the color Rude. I forgot the name of it because it's scratched out. Um, it's just like this really nice orange color and I think it will go great for all of you who are into the fall fashion. Um, I'm just going to take this with my finger and I'm going to place this on the, um, the apples of my cheeks and I'm going to blend it upwards. This cheek color just gives such a beautiful natural glow. I love it so much. For a highlighter, I'm going to use a Max Luster Drops in um, Sun Rush. It's a beautiful bronze color. I absolutely love it. And again, I'm just going to um, put it on the back of my hand and I'm going to put it on my fingers. I'm going to blend that in right above my cheekbone. And this color looks absolutely amazing when you're using it with the color Rude because they kind of have the same undertone. So for my lips, I'm gonna do a lip stain and I'm gonna use Revlon's Just Bitten in the color Victorian. Looks like this. And I'm just gonna do a very nice berry lip. Now 
Doing this, you want to pull your lips apart and fill it in so that you get in all the little creases because it's not creamy, so it won't just automatically go in all the creases. Now on the other end of it is a little chapstick, but I don't really like to use that. Um, it like breaks off and stuff, but um, I'm going to use a different lip gloss. I'm sure you remember these kissable lip colors from the Peacocky collection a while back. And um, this is in the color Scandalicious. Such a perfect fall color. And we're just going to put this right over that stain. That way if this comes off, because it does kind of easily, um, you'll have the stain underneath to, you know, give you a little, a couple extra hours until you retouch up. <laughs> Alright, and that's it. That completes your fall 2011 trends makeup look. I hope you guys all really enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any um, comments, suggestions for me, please leave them down in the comments below. I really hope you will rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. Bye!